How's it going, everybody? I'm Maxwell McGee here with Pete Brown. We just finished up with the Sony press conference where we got a chance to take a look at PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. I think I said that right, Peter. You did. You okay, did. you thank did a very you. good job. Good. Job. good. <laughs> what, were, what were your takeaways from the presentation? Obviously, Smash Brothers clone, <laughs> but it, there didn't seem to be anything original, and it didn't look fun. Like, it just looked boring. I mean, it, I can definitely, the Smash Brothers similarities are undeniable. The one thing that really stood out to me and uh, that I can't get over is the uh, just the the color and the artistic presentation like yeah. everything felt really flat and it felt really washed out like when the hydra came up there were a lot of grays in its there, palette there were a lot of grays yeah. in the in the stage the itself. hydra looked really bad it all just <laughs> kind of blended together and when you have to put those hard like white outlines around the characters to make them stand out right, right. like that was a problem that never Came up, it's not again to draw direct comparisons to Smash Bros. But, like, <laughs> no, but we have to because this is this is the Sony's characters answer, you know? really popped in that game. The backgrounds looked beautiful. They had a cohesive art style. It wasn't trying. They weren't trying to cram all these different characters. Oh, I mean, they were cramming different. They characters, were cramming, yeah. but, you but know it was I mean. all within a unified yeah. art style. Yeah, they Whereas found a way to with, make those palettes and the colors just work together. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in the uh, in in PlayStation All Stars. They're sort of trying to keep the individual styles of the different characters, yeah. yet put them all in the same game and. I think they're obviously having some trouble with that. Yeah. But uh, artistics aside, uh, if that's even a word, um, <laughs> in terms of the in terms of the gameplay, again, it looked very much like your traditional Smash Bros. We saw a lot of characters employing different special moves, and they're sort of just fighting at each other. They had that tiered super mechanic, which is just like right. breaking balance, if you ask me, because it seemed the first two levels of supers mm -hmm. missed quite often. But then that the one guy that pulled up the third the third level it yeah. filled the whole screen. The, the sweet tooth character yeah, when so, he turned into the giant yeah, robot. Yeah, so if you risk missing most of the time with a low level super, you're not really like losing out by saving up. You just just save up and use the big one and just win. You know what I mean? Like it, it there doesn't seem to be any penalty for waiting if you're just gonna miss. I mean, off the cuff, I could see it being applicable. Like if it's the match is about to end, you need to cash it in real fast. Like mm -hmm. I'm down a couple of points, maybe I can pop a level one super pick up a couple of kills, but yeah, I can definitely see, like, starting out in the early parts of the match, you're, I think you probably would be much better off saving up to the level three instead of cashing the level ones too If early. it's going to connect, it's worth it, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so then what else? Then they also showed off, uh, they announced the Big Daddy, yeah. and uh, Nathan yeah. Drake is playable character. Yeah, I can't wait to see Fat Princess and Big Daddy <laughs> on the screen together, because that's totally going to work. <laughs> no one's going to find that odd. I know, that's so, I, I don't, I guess because some of the, the characters in the game are presented, like Nathan Drake, are like your everyman type characters, yeah. and then when you put them up against these, these, uh, these more cartoony or more overpowered characters yeah. like Kratos or the Big Daddy, it just doesn't mesh so well, in my mind at least. So obviously we haven't played it yet, but it seems a bit odd. Maybe... Well, you're, I'm ca cautiously you optimistic. Yeah. I am because the, the developers have stated a couple of times that they are keeping like competitive ga gaming in mind. I yeah. mean, I'm not like I don't inherently think that competitive gaming is like better than casual gaming, but I'm glad that that where Smash Brothers tends to err more towards the side of ca casual gaming, this one errs more towards the side of competitive gaming. They can sort of each find their own audience, and then maybe yeah. you know different different takes on the same style of gameplay. Perhaps there's room for a third game to come in that's sort of in between. I would be very know. very surprised if we saw this game. I would like to see more level. games in this style. I think there's a lot of room for creativity. Well, sure, in it. yeah, but this one, I don't know. Okay, we'll okay. See. okay. Well, let's go ahead and wrap it up All again. Right. Uh, <laughs> did they say anything about a release date? Uh, not that I recall. Yeah, I don't think they did. But uh, if they do, you can find it on GameSpot.com as well as more E3 coverage as the show continues.